Hello and welcome to Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Mike Wilson and today we'll discuss a pretty broad range of topics from the 2019 Indiana legislative session. And joining me right now is Representative Sue Arrington. She's from Muncie and thank you so much for taking some time out to come by and say hello. Well, glad to be here. Thank you. So uh, tell us uh, in a budget session, uh, obviously a lot of people are concerned about the nuts and bolts and the finances and the money comes up, but I think there's also a lot of other stories to tell. Uh, one of those stories is a, a story of the, the House Democratic Caucus right yes, now. Tell it, us about that. There is. We're making history. What? Because for the first time in Indiana history, uh, there is a caucus, ours, that has a majority female. Out of the 33 total members of our caucus, 17 of us are women, and I'm really proud to be one of those. Excellent. And there's significance behind that because it's not just, oh, look, we have, you know, a majority women in our caucus, but there's uh, actual uh, shape and structure that comes from having a distinction like that, too, as far as how policy comes out, as far as what filter things run through, correct? Yes, yes. I mean, women bring a different focus. Uh, our life experiences are different from men's, and so it just makes the conversation richer, and uh, maybe we address some issues that wouldn't otherwise come up. Yeah, well, majority of the global population is women, too, so it should be if we have a representative form of government, shouldn't, uh, Absolutely. Should, shouldn't it be representative, <laughs> right? Yes, it should. Okay, so uh, what else? What are, what else are you working on right now? Well, since we're talking about women's issues, I have a bill that uh, deals with equal pay. And it came from looking at the gender pay gap, uh, which is the difference between what the average woman makes and what uh, the compensation is for the average man. Um, and what I've found in, in my research is that Indiana has, there's only two states that have a wider gender pay gap that Indiana does. And I looked at what our statute is and I saw that there are several gaps. So that was the origin of deciding to file this bill, which really is looking at how can we be sure that it doesn't matter whether you're male or female, you're going to be adequately and fairly compensated. Because really that's what it's all about. And so many women these days uh, well, a majority of women are in the workforce, and almost half of them are either the primary breadwinner or the co-breadwinner for their families. So this is really important that you're compensated fairly um, when it comes to your pay. Absolutely. So uh, would you say, I mean, you've been a woman in the workplace before, correct? So I mean, right. uh, what experience does this, have you had? Have you seen anything like this before where you've worked, where you thought, hey, you know what, the guy who was doing the job before I came in and took it uh, was making $10,000 more a yeah. year, anything like that? Well, personally, it hasn't happened to me, okay. but you may have heard of Lily Ledbetter, mm -hmm. who um, was, she worked at this company for years, and she learned that she was being compensated less than the men because a coworker um, anonymously slipped her a pay, uh, what their pay was. And so that's when she realized that she was being unfairly compensated. She didn't like it, as you can imagine. And she uh, took it all the way to the Supreme Court in mm -hmm. one her case. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Well, thank you so much for, uh, for sharing that story and for, for talking about the issues that are important to you. Yep. You're welcome. All right. And uh, thank you for joining us from the Indiana State House. This is Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Mike Wilson. Thanks for watching.